Hi Jerry, you ask us to solve this quality equation x square minus 7x plus 12. You want to find out the solution of this one. To find out the solution of this one, first you have to check that this quality equation is in the form of standard form. The standard form of quality equation is ax squared plus bx plus c, where this a, b, and c are the coefficients of x squared, x, and this one is the constant, is called c over here. Uh, to convert it to the standard form, first we have to check that all the coefficients are the integer or not. To see that the coefficient of x squared, which is a, is a 1, is again an integer. Same time, the coefficient of x, which is b, is minus 7, again an integer. And the coefficient c is 12, is again an integer. So you can say that it is already converted to the standard form. So we can write down as x squared minus 7x plus 12 is as a standard form. The step second is that we have to find out the factors of this 12. It's called the factor of this 12. So what are the possible factors of this 12? The possible factor of this 12 is uh, one of the possible factors of 12 if you want to write out. It's 12 into 1, is it? So you can write down the factor 12 into 1 is a one of the factor. The another factor is a 6 into 2. The another factor is what? The another factor is 3 into 4. You can write down the vice versa also. What is the mean of the vice versa? Is 1 into 12 is another view factor. 2 into 6 will be another view factor. And 4 comma 3 is another view factor. Then, to choose one of the appropriate factor for this equation, what we can do there, we have to choose the factor which gives you the sum of 7. Is it? To find out the factor which gives you the sum of the 7, we'll check the 12 into 1. Is the 12 into 1 give you the factor, give the sum of minus 7? No. Is that 6, 2, 6 multiplication of 2 and 2 multiplication of 6 give you the sum of 7? No. It's giving you the 8, same time it's giving you the 13, but the 4 multiplied with the 3. If you add both the factors, it's going to give you 7. So most appropriately, we can choose this one. This factor is your factors. So to write down the factors over here, what we can write down is we divide the x square. The most important thing you have to take care about that when you add this factor, it should give you the minus 7. To add this one, so we should take minus 4x, minus 3x, plus 12. We have to divide these two factors over there. Then you have to make the group of 2 equal as to 0. Then you have to take the, make the group of 2. Then from these two groups, from this of the two terms, you can take x as a common. So remaining is x minus 4. Again over here, you can take minus 3 as a common. So x minus 4 will be there. Again from both these two terms, you can take x minus 4 as a common. So it's again x minus 4 into x minus 3 equals to 0. At the last, to find out the value of this x, you have to compare it equals to 0. So x minus 4, you compare it equals to 0, which is going to give you x is equals to 4. Same time, if you want to compare x minus 3 equals to 0, equals to 0, then x minus 3 is going to give you x is equals to 2. So these are the two possible solutions of this quality equation. The worst of the most amazing thing, how can you find out that this both the solutions are the correct or not? To find out both the solutions are correct or not, you have to substitute again these values over in this equation. Check the solutions are correct or not. So once you substitute over there, then x is equals to 4. To substitute x is equals to 4, it gives you the what 16 minus 28 plus 12, which result into 0. Same time, if you want to find out x is equals to 3, it's give you 9 minus 21 plus 12, which is again is going to be equal to 0. This means that the both the factors are satisfying the equation, which means the exact solution. So, what are the two solutions for your equation? x is equals to 4 and x is equals to 3. Thank you to using our services. Ask more questions to us to get more help for your questions.